Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be here. I am super pumped to be talking to you today on Friday about how to keep your challengers coming back to your groups month after month. Because I don't know about you, but I work really hard to have my challengers join my group and I do a lot of work on the front end and to not have them have success or to not return for after the first challenge group can be discouraging. So I know this is something that my coaches and I have struggled with in the past and I'm super excited to share my tips with you. Um, my name is Nicole Dobransky and I'm a mom of three, including two-year-old twins and almost five-year-old daughter. And um, today is actually a huge day for our team, Team Run the World, because we are officially a 2020 elite team. So it kind of all come together to me to be talking to you on the champions page. And um, I'm super proud of my challenge groups. They're something that I absolutely love and the community and the tribe that I've created. And I really am excited to share those tips with you. So I've been in Success Club for 51 months in a row. Um, and a big portion of my Success Club points now are actually from returning customers. So um, that's really what it all comes down to. Um, the first thing that I want to share that it all comes down to is belief. And comment below if you're a believer. You believe in our products. You believe that what we offer can help people. Because I know that when I first started coaching four years ago, oh my gosh, I remember I was so committed to our programs. I believed in them so much. And I had that belief but it would be discouraging when people would get their package and they wouldn't even start with it or they wouldn't, um, they would join my group and then they would fall off after a little bit. And so if you're a new coach, I just want to give you the, the guidance and the, the, the reassurance that you can't completely control what people are doing. You can do your best, you can show up and you can implement some of the tips that I'm gonna help you today. But at the end of the day, it's up to the person and this will go for when you build a team and your coaches, it's up to them to follow through and take action. So I know that I struggled with that in the beginning and I wanna just reassure you that you are doing an awesome job as a coach and your people will come. So if you're new and you're like, ah, I don't, I just, I wanna help my people so bad, just know that you will. And like I said, it comes down to belief. For me, my story is that I was a, um, I grew up overweight. I was the latchkey kid. I came home after school and I would snack and I struggled with my weight. I'm an only child. And in my twenties, I started yo-yo dieting and trying every single unhealthy thing. I was like, I would eat frozen yogurt every single night because I thought it was healthy and the hundred calorie packs and the diet foods and everything. And it was when I discovered P90X, which was actually way before I started coaching, this was in 2011, um, I did the program to P90X with my husband. We went, or my boyfriend at the time, we went all in. And it was the first time in my life that I lost weight in a sustainable way, that I learned to fuel my body, to feel healthy. Um, I did every workout. I got the best results. I felt amazing. I believed, I truly believed at the end of the 90 days that anyone who did this program and committed could have success. And I think that's the foundation of you showing up and having your challengers feel that energy and that excitement is your own belief. So for me, P90X was my program, the program that changed everything for me. I'd love for you guys to comment and tell me what was the program that changed everything for you? Or maybe you're brand new and you're currently going through a program, but I want to encourage you, you have to lean in and do a program from start to finish, including the nutrition plan. No matter if you think you need to lose weight or you need a certain type of result or not, trust the process and that belief that you have in our products and our programs is going to translate into your excitement in the challenge group and it's going to translate into your success as a coach and your ability to help people continue and to get good results themselves. So the first thing that I want to talk about is helping people get started and just start to take action. So. One thing that I've noticed is now that the pack, the challenge packs, I'm personally setting up everyone with MBF, and now that all access comes with to, to be mindset and ultimate portion fix, every package you offer someone comes with so many resources. It's almost overwhelming at times for a new person. If you put yourself in their shoes, they're coming in and they're like, I have to go onto this website and stream these workouts. Then there's a different place where I get the nutrition side, and then there's this accountability group. 
So it's your job when they sign up, you need to make sure that you're directing them. If you're just sending them an invite, maybe use Facebook. I use BOD groups. If you're just sending them an invite and then being like, good luck, they're, they're not going to know exactly where to start. So I think it's incredibly important and something I've been doing in my first email. Once they tell me, hey, I signed up, um, I'm going to be joining you. I, I say, great, I'm so excited. I just sent you an invite to BOD groups. Please log in now and go and you're going to see some posts from me because I do some prep work posts in my BOD groups to help people get started step by step. But I tell them specifically, this is going to be home base. I want you to be checking in there every morning for my post or the other coaches I'm hosting with post. And I want you to log your workout every day. You're going to go to the tracking tab and you're going to see your workout pop up after you've done it. Or if you're a runner, because I have a lot of runners in my group, you can just log your workout manually. But make sure you're sharing it with the group so I can see and I can check in with you. And I think that specifically saying that is actually really important because I know a lot of people, they they don't exactly know how to track and they just won't do that. And then you'll feel like you're, you're disconnected from them because they're not actually checking in. And checking in is what the point of the accountability group is. And I know it sounds simple to give them that little extra step, but it really does make a difference. I'm noticing so many more people logging in just by getting tracking by giving them that that tip. Um, I also like to remind them of the shipping delays not, that we're having right now in that email. And I say, you know, just because your package isn't going to be here tomorrow, um, let's get you started first thing. And so I do recommend that you at least explain like have them start with the workouts. And um, I found I encourage them to download the Nutrition Plus app. But then I say, let's listen to the videos this week and get our feet wet. If you're ready to dive into the nutrition, let's do that. But if you're like, if they, especially if they started like the Sunday before your group, you don't want to just throw them in and be like, yeah, now you're going to be on this plan and you need to meal prep today and you need to do all these things. Just get them started. It's the start that stops so many people, right? It's just, you got to give them baby steps and some instructions to get started. And that's going to be the most legwork that you're doing with these people is in that beginning. Because once they're in the group, they're in the community and they're getting that resources. But if they never get in, you lose them from the beginning. So the next part about how I really help people feel seen and supported in the group so that they keep coming back. First, I feel like this just needs to be said that you should be liking every single post in your group. If someone logs a workout, it needs to at least be encouraged. It's called, I think it's encouraged, or you can like change the emojis and BOD groups to the strength one or whatever you want. But if someone posts a selfie or they post some kind of picture, um, uh, or they post like a description, I make sure that I comment on it so that they feel seen and heard. Because if I don't know about you, but if I was logging in a group every day and no one was paying attention to me, I'd be like, what's the point of doing this? So just make sure that you are spending some time. What I do is I do my workout in the morning. I then post to my group in the morning with my, my sweaty selfie or log my workout. And then I go through and just try to catch up on the feed. So I just give myself a little bit of extra time. This is also when I post to stories about my workout. Um, and then later in the day, in the afternoon, I'll go back and I'll do more love and give people some support in there. And I think the cool part about that is like I turn notifications off, so I don't want to be tied to my challenge group all day. But if you're if you leave a little bit of a gap, but you are checking in, sometimes your challengers start interacting with each other and supporting each other. And if someone asks a question, they'll answer it. So I don't want you to ever feel in your business like you're tied to your challenge group. And every time someone posts, you have to go on and like and comment. You just got to take it in like batches and whatever works for you with your schedule or if you work full time. When I first started, I worked full time. And so I had only certain times that I could check in. Then I think it's super important to share the struggles. And this is something that I implemented a while ago and I've seen such an improvement in my challenge group. So Mondays we set goals always. And then Fridays we share a success and a struggle. And of course, everyone wants to sh like successes are great right? We want to shout people out, recognize, you want to recognize yourself. And that's really important to share, like, even if the, the scale didn't move, even if, um, you know, they didn't make as much progress this week as they wanted, there's got to be something they did that was positive. And so it helps to acknowledge that. But this the struggles, that's the most important part. Because I don't know about you, but I, when I see other people's highlight reel, just like, you know, sometimes we see on Instagram, you start to compare. And if you're in the challenge group and all you see is everyone's workouts being logged and all the successes, sometimes that can get in your head and you think, well, I am like going over my containers every day. I might as well just, you know, Nicole's probably not doing that. So I should just stop. But if I come in and I say, I'm struggling with this, are you guys struggling with this? And they see that I'm still getting good results, that I'm still showing up. They're going to be encouraged. 
And it also gives you an opportunity if they say they're, they might say they're struggling with something that you can provide advice or a tip or something to help them. And that's going to get them encouraged and hopefully get them better results. So I think the success and struggles is one of my favorite parts and people will comment on each other's posts and um, they, it's just really, I think, been a game changer. On that same note, um, sometimes I'll go in and like do a video and talk about something I'm struggling with and what I did to help me. And I think just sharing that journey and like I said, going back to the belief and you being invested in a program, that's going to give you so much more excitement and so many more things to share than if you're just going through the motions in your challenge group. Um, the last thing about this is that I want to encourage you, if you're using guides from Beachbody or from something that you're, 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 um, like you've purchased or your team has purchased for you, um, it's those great guides are great. But do you want to add just a little bit of your own flair to at least some of the posts each week? And like these are like the morning posts that people come in and see. Just because I feel like if it's if it's very obvious that it's like this scripted thing, then I think sometimes people just stop reading them. So sometimes just adding a little bit of your own, like even just what you're going to be doing that day. I know like one of the coaches on my team and our we're co-hosting. She's a principal at a school, and she just kind of shared like how she was going back to school that day, and it was going to be really difficult, but she was so thankful for the group. And just like hearing that and knowing that she's like showing up and writing her own post, I think it helps people feel more engaged in the group. Um, and then one on one check ins. I am kind of a hands off coach in the sense that I am not individually checking in with my people every single day. That's what the group, the group is there to support them. And I think you have to remember that people are paying $160 for, for so much value. It's $500 worth of value, but in my head, like I would pay. $100 a month for Beachbody On Demand by itself. It's so amazing. So I know we kind of put a lot of pressure on ourselves. We're like, we need to be go checking in with our people every single, like, you know, not, maybe not every day, but I would encourage you to check in regularly with your people, maybe once a week or every other week, but don't feel like you have to be like dragging them along and pulling them through. Encourage them to go back to the challenge group, to be asking questions in the challenge group. And that's going to give you um, more you know, you're going to be more likely to use your energy in the challenge group rather than all these individual texts. So this last thing has been a game changer for me this year. So like I said, a lot of my challengers are returning or a lot of my success club points are returning. So in July, for example, we had my best month of success club 72. And I would say at least half of those people were returning customers. Um, so what, it, what happened was the MBF launch, but with any launch, um, I create a special group for that, just that program. And maybe you already do this, but I usually do like a team wide group or I, I team up with other people. So I'm never like hosting multiple challenge groups by myself. Cause that's a lot of work, but use your team, lean in. Or maybe if you don't have a team, use the beach by champions page or some other page to find people that want to team up with you. But, um, I think by re-engaging past customers, Beachbody has so many incredible programs. And when you come back and you say, this new program's coming out and you email your existing customers and you say, are you excited to do it together? Like, let's do this. Um, um, the group's gonna be super special because we're all gonna start on the same day. Um, you can send them the sample workout or the sizzle video. Um, I do this in a, I use MailChimp for, to send all my, I have a customer list. That's why I send them all this email. You can use, also use Google streak is a great thing because if you rely on yourself to individually email all your past customers, you're probably just not going to end up doing it. So I recommend using some kind of like mail system. And even if you're brand new coach, just start writing them down in Excel so that you can at least send a, an email with a like BCC them. Right. So at least have that, or you can go in your back office and download your customers. Um, if you go to the back office and go to customers, you can download the list of all your existing customers and just letting them know there's new opportunities and showing extreme excitement. So you want to show like, this is going to be awesome and share a reason why you're excited about this new program or new group. And then when they say they want to join, I always recommend the challenge pack. And we have, um, you know, you, I send them a graphic that shows if they're already a BOD member, I show them the performance completion pack, the Shakeology, and then the, the bundle where you get both. Um, I don't I don't even mention the VIP access by itself because it's it's basically free when they do the challenge pack. And if they maybe they tried Shakeology when they first joined you and it wasn't for them or they didn't couldn't justify the cost, this gives them Shakeology to discount or 
they can try performance line. It's a great opportunity to get them introduced to at least Energize, which who doesn't like Energize, you guys? So at the very least, it'll continue with that. Um, and I just also truly think that people get the best results when they're having the total solution, they're having the whole package, they're using all of our products and they're all on the same page. And I really express that to them when I'm talking to them about joining the group, how I really want them to get the completion pack or the challenge pack. If their bot is renewing, they can upgrade to that. Um, another thing I've been doing is instead of just hosting like regular boot camps every single month and just changing the name to a new like name, I've been trying to um, create some more unique challenge groups. So like back in February, I knew I was struggling with my nutrition. I was like, I need daily accountability. So I decided to host like a more, a, a more um, small, intimate nutrition focus group. And I, I capped it at a certain amount of people and um, which was way smaller than my normal groups. And I said, we're going to do an evening check in. I want you to take a screenshot of your nutrition plus app. I want you or your tracker from Ultimate Portion Fix and 2B Mindset. I required that everyone be on 2B Mindset or Ultimate Portion Fix and Shakeology in order to be in the group. Um, and I filled out that filled up that group faster than I ever imagined because I think people need that nutrition support and they need the accountability as much as anything else, like more than their workouts. Nutrition is the biggest struggle for people. So if you can host like really say like it's going to be intimate. I'm invest. I said I'm invested in your success. Like I really want you. To, to be able to have amazing results with this. And I wanna keep you accountable because I know that helps me too. Um, another thing I've done, like my last group, we did a morning routine group. So I'm a mom and we are, I'm always waking up on, if you wake, wait for my kids to wake me up, I'm on the defense, right? But um, I did a group where I'm like walking them through how to start a morning routine. And then I'm also a runner. So whatever it is about you, think about how you could maybe create a group that's very unique to you. So. This is the first year of my four years of coaching that I've hosted runners only accountability groups and they've done incredible as well because I'm serving my people, my tribe and giving them some unique experiences. So that when they're maybe, you know, kind of wrapping up a program, they have something new to always look forward to. And remember, you want to be teaming up for some of these because I don't want you to be like chat, like hosting all these groups all by yourself and doing all that work um, all by yourself. It's good to have the other coaches because they're checking in too. The last thing I'm gonna say is that one of the best things you can do to keep your challenge groups exciting and engaging is to bring in new people. So hitting Success Club and then bringing in at least three people a month is going to help create more excitement because you're gonna have newbies and they're gonna be asking questions and maybe your past challengers are gonna be asking them questions or gonna be responding and answering for you and they're gonna be introducing themselves again because they knew there's new people. So don't ever get stuck in like, I just need to serve these existing customers. You gotta be spending time bringing in new people because that's gonna make your challenge groups better and serve your people even better. My last, my last um, just piece of advice for you guys is to just don't give up and know that your tribe is gonna come. So if you're brand new and your groups are kind of feeling small and like not super exciting, just know that the more that you, you grow, the more that you're bringing new people in and the more you're putting your heart into this, your tribe is gonna come, they are gonna come. And, um, you just can't give up and know that it's just a momentum thing. So you, our guys are doing awesome. And I hope this was helpful. Um, have a great Friday and I will talk to you guys later.